And if you think about this, it is, it is extremely scary. I've seen brothers and sisters that have lost children. Wallah. And it is, it is a test that I, I wish uh, upon no one. Uh, to lose someone, you know, a child of yours, you know, whether they're still young, whether they're, you know, a little bit older, whether they're in their teens, whether they're in their 20s, and go speak to their mums. Go speak to the dads. You know, do you know how hard it is to speak to a mum that has lost her, her son? She knows he didn't pray. She knows he doesn't know Allah. He doesn't know Allah. He doesn't pray, he doesn't read Quran, doesn't go to the masjid. She knows he was on drugs. She knows he used to go out with the boys and party and with the girls and fornicate. She knows all of that. And he's a 20-year-old, 25-year-old. And to all the brothers listening, this is what's, you know, can you imagine this going through your mom's, your, your mom's mind? And he dies. And she's upon salah. She's upon good. Do you know what her aim in life is? To get to Jannah. Do you know what the worst feeling for a mom is? Is that my son's not going to be there with me. You've lost him in the dunya. And you've lost him in the hereafter. Wallahi, it, it, this destroys uh, the mum more than she's destroyed already at that stage. You want to see an old man cry uh, tears, not because he just lost his son, because he knows that his son was not upon good. And for the parents, that then it's too late. What kind of dua are you going to make? Oh, Allah, have mercy upon him. That's as much as you can do. And then what? If he was never praying, never fasted in his life, This is the this is it. This is the hard truth that we got to wake up to. And it, it's it's a, it's not a shock tactic. It's a reality. Wallahi, this is reality. When you're seeing your kids go down a path that's not pleasing to Allah, before losing them in this world, you've lost them in the hereafter. Al Bayan Radio, the voice of Ahl Sunnati wal Jamaa.